perfect angle to drop in behind the blue. Well, two of the biggest shots he's ever played in his life. This easy brown, but it's going to be a difficult blue for the match. Well. Just the blue needed. And it's there. And that's what it means to this young Chinese player. Raises his fist in the air. What a performance from this young rookie carrying the flag for China. The pink isn't in, but surely that's enough to take this young player through to the quarter-final of this year's 888 World Championship. Yes, it was a little bit of a premature clench of the fist there, because only one snooker needed. Yeah, the black is a bit awkward for Joe to get the snooker. Not hard enough. <laughs> well, he did get the snooker in the end, but it's an easy escape. But I'm with you, Willie. It was a bit premature to throw that fist up in the air. Uh, this has got a chance. This has got a chance. This has got a chance. Another two inches done. This would have been tight behind the black Thank and almost you. impossible to hit. This is missable. Joe Swale, six. Absolutely incredible. Joe Stewards, if you see that person it. that was shouting out, we'll have him out, please. Uh. <laughs> well, his reaction on his face as he leans on the table there. Now... I don't think Joe can risk the pot because it will throw wide and he might catch the jaws of the corner. Playing it slow, he wouldn't catch the jaws. Yeah, I think if he took the pot on, it would be close to the end off. A little thinner one and he can get this perfectly safe. And he's played it perfectly. <laughs> Comeback kid is not finished yet. Is he not playing the double? Is he to hold the white where the pink is? He could do because he could play it as a shot to nothing. This, no, he's not stunned it. I think. I think it is on. The pink cuts, and I think he can get enough on the cue ball to stop the white from going in the corner pocket. This is quite amazing. What a shock to the system this could be. It's one of those where you'd like to play the stun shot, which means it's taking the white in the middle of the table. I A to avoid the enough, but is he bound to get on the black if he does that? Maybe not. I'm right behind the shot, Willie, and he can avoid the enough with a little delicate shot here. <laughs> now he doesn't want to drop tight on the black here. Six. He wants the white cleaning.
Well, the atmosphere in the Crucible Theatre, the Yang Wenbo had one foot in the quarter-final. He doesn't want to look now. <clears throat> Is not finished yet, Joe Swim. Absolutely incredible. The young Chinese player thought he was in the quarter final. He raised his fist, but it's not over yet. Joe Swell takes the frame, and it's now 12 11. Well, I'm sure I interrupted you to watch some great snooker this week. Today has been an unbelievable day of snooker. We've seen some fantastic play. We've seen a man thinking he's won the match. And now he's going to have to dig deep himself to try and get himself out of that little hole. He may not get a better chance. We see him as he pots the blue there, and you'll see him punch in the air. But the pink was a difficult shot. And one snooker required, you don't celebrate too early. He wasn't bothered about getting nicely on the pink. He just thought the blue was enough. And then he has to scratch his head and realize what he's done. And do you think this means anything to Joe Swell, Dennis? Just have a look at Joe's reaction when we, we cut back to him after this black. Yes, he throws his cue on the table and he can't believe he's still in it here. Yes, this time we see his reaction. 